Welcome back to this very special healthcare edition of Champion News Talk Radio with our founder, Jack Roser, and healthcare expert, uh, C. Stephen Tucker. Steve, how close are we to single payer, and what does that path look like for America? We are far closer now because of Thursday morning's decision. People have to understand that not only do we uphold the individual mandate, not using the Commerce Clause, but using the power to tax, so they can levy fines if you don't comply, but we've also allowed community rating and guaranteed issue to go forward. What are those things? Those are the two most onerous provisions on the health care industry, health insurance industry more specifically. They state that, uh, for instance, community rating, when it's, when it's implemented in states like the 12 it has been implemented and has failed miserably, is that everyone should pay the same premium when they buy health insurance, which sounds fair to someone who doesn't understand actuarial principles. <laughs> but when you have someone who is 27 years old and they're paying, what, $65 a month for a good health insurance policy because the insurance company knows that they will not have claims for decades. So they get a nice cheap premium, mm -hmm. right? But they're still protected. Mm -hmm. They now have to subsidize the premium for the 62-year-old who's paying four to five times as much in premium that they're paying. So you know what happens as soon as community rating is implemented, Mr. 27-year-old's policy, his premiums go up, way up. And the very first thing he does, as soon as he gets that premium increase, is, hello, insurance company, I want to cancel my coverage. And so do all of his other young invincible friends. I thought friends. that they couldn't cancel coverage. Oh, they can cancel it, but then they're going to pay a fine, you see. Do you know what the fine is in 2014? So he can fine? escape his um, big payment. Yes. Put on what is the fine? The balances. fine is $95 in 2014. Do you think a 27-year-old would rather pay the $95? For the whole year. For the whole year. 90, yes, that's a $95 fine. Oh, I'll pay the fine. And then in 2016, it graduates to a whopping $695. Do you think he'll pay $695 instead of the $2,800 it's going to cost him right. on average for a government-approved right. health insurance plan? Worse yet, how are you going to get that $695 from a 27-year-old? How many people in this country pay income taxes? Percentage-wise, 53 47% pay no income taxes. Yeah. And Obamacare compels the IRS to collect a fine and hold your tax refund if you don't pay that fine. How do you hold a refund from it someone that pays pay no nothing. income taxes? <laughs> so who's really going to be paying for all of this? Those of us who already pay income taxes, the few, the proud, the 53%. Back to community rating. 62-year-old, all the young invincibles cancel their coverage because now they're subsidizing your premium over there. What happens to their premium? Because the risk pool is now much smaller because all the young invincibles are gone. What happens to their premium? It, too, goes up. Now, let me ask you something. Let's say I'm a, the 62-year-old and I'm pretty healthy and all of a sudden I'm not feeling so well. Yeah. Do I have to buy health insurance? Oh, yeah. Or can I buy health insurance when I get sick? Oh, yeah. See, that's the other worst part, and that's community rating, a uh, uh, guaranteed issue. Oh. Guaranteed issue, unlike HIPAA law, which was passed intelligently, people will call me when they lose their job at my insurance brokerage firm, and they'll say, I, I, I'm at 62 days. i, I got to get coverage right away. I, I don't want to face pre-existing conditions because HIPAA portability law says you can't have more than 63 days or you'll wait the same amount of days on your new group plan before they start covering pre-existing. Obama scrapped all of that and said, it's better if you just wait until you're sick and then you buy coverage. So you're telling me I don't have to buy health insurance until I get sick? Unless you want to pay the fine. And the fine is a fraction of what health insurance actually costs. And in fact, we're seeing it now. There are companies and manufacturers all across the United States that have provided health care coverage for their employees for decades. They're right. abandoning that. They're saying it's much cheaper just to pay the fine. We have lost 20 well, no, health insurance companies since now, this wait a legislation minute. passed. Uh, In Illinois, the, uh, uh, the government sets the fine too, don't they? Oh yeah. So when that doesn't cover the thing, they're the, going to raise the fine. The fine is going to go up. You so it looks bet, Jack, you're what right. It looks like a $75 fine now That's right. could well be 700 That's right. or 1000. That's right. Could or be whatever 2, or whatever or the damn government wants. That's right. But they have to have the majority to do that to raise taxes. Okay? How does this get to single Again, why it's so important for us to win. How does this single get to payer. single payer? We have lost 20 health insurance companies, not being reported in the, in the lamestream lapdog fully compliant media, but 20 health insurance companies across have, the United across States. Across this country have either stopped selling health insurance, filed for bankruptcy, or gone completely out of business. And what did Barack Obama promise us? If you like your plan, you can keep your plan and no one will take it away from you, period. I have clients who have already lost their health insurance coverage across this country. Lie number three. But from how do we get the single payer? Barack Obama promised the SEIU. It will, it will take us a while to get there, but single payer is our goal. 
How do they get there? Who they, is a single payer? Government who, run health care. All these single payer advocates think that it's so great that we have Medicare for all. Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid have a $61 trillion Do unfunded Do I understand liability. this correctly Socialized now? Medicine. That the government is going to pay for all the medical care mm -hmm. and you're going to go and be a supplicant to them to get any med medical care you want. They do that by but, rapidly bankrupting the insurance companies. This is the goal. Guaranteed so issue soon, will bankrupt them. Pretty soon they tax you and you can't do anything about that. And then they tell you what treatment you're going to be allowed to have. Correct. Correct. Uh, and we're I, headed that way. When, uh, we re when we bankrupt the rest of these insurance companies, only the few will survive, the big ones, United Healthcare, Humana, Aetna, and, then they'll be and taken they over will by become the public utilities. Mm -hmm. And they will have to be subsidized by the U.S. taxpayer because we've thrown all the actuarial guidelines out. We've thrown all the underwriting guidelines out. You can wait to buy a plan until you're <clears> sick. You can dump it, get it later when you need more medical care because it's guaranteed issue. It's just like waiting to buy a homeowner's policy for your house until it burns down, calling State Farm and asking them to pay for your house. You know what? Please stay with us. You do not want to miss the next section. How do you Champion leave America the break. and go to a place where you aren't treated uh, as some kind of a channel of the government. They're coming here. They're coming here for their care.